Hey friends, it's Shane from HowToRinse.com. I know it has been a while since I made a video. I'm super stoked about this one. Uh, I'm here in Africa and uh, y'all know I'm uh, over here working for Zipline, but I finally met uh, a pretty cool dude. He's hooking me up some friends. We're gonna go ride some motorcycles, but on top of it, he owns a shop here. I'm gonna give you a tour, show you his bikes and show you what he does in the diesel world. But this is gonna be cool. You're gonna wanna stay tuned. You haven't done so yet, make sure and hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and meet my new pal. Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're gonna be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. This video includes timestamps, so check out the description below if you wanna bounce ahead and just grab the info that you want. Hey my friends, this is my new pal, Aldous, and uh, he is the managing director here of uh, A1 Limited Diesel, but uh, he's gonna hook me up I'm gonna get to ride this bike around with him and his pals, but what was really cool is I was out looking to rent a motorcycle. I hit up what I thought was a local Harley dealer. It was actually closed, not in business anymore. You could buy t-shirts, that was about it. But these guys were in there, a bunch of pals on their bikes, having a good time. Showed them uh, the how to wrench stuff. They thought it was pretty cool. And he said, you know what? I think you'd like my shop. You got to stay tuned to this video and wait till you see everything that's happening here in Ghana, Africa where they have to get stuff done, and this guy is the diesel guy. But uh, why don't you show me, let's show me your bike first. You got your bike project. I wanna check it yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta we gotta keep it true to our motorcyclists, you know? And this is cool, just talking to him so far. Uh, you could just tell, <clears throat> you know, just the love and understanding of turning wrenches. Yeah, there's another one. But he is building this fat boy. So. Here we are building Fat Boy 2006. Uh, it is very special Fat Boy. Uh, it is called uh, Yellow Lamborghini. Uh, that is um, what 2006 uh, had a Davidson made together with Lamborghini. And uh, that, that special color. Hey, I want to give uh, Roland, our boy Roland, a shout out. Look at man, your parts are sitting here on motorcycles in Africa. I got some friends that are uh, personal yeah. friends with Roland. I'm not, I'm just yeah. a fan. You see, this, this bike is always ready for party, you know? <laughs> my Jack Daniel bottle is always with me. Oh, man. Where are you from, my friend? Latvia. Latvia. I'm from Latvia. I'm 14 years in Ghana, um, helping doing jerkers. Yeah, so, why don't we do a tour of your shop thing? Because this is absolutely mind blowing. What I want you to pay attention to, I'll try to. I'll try to pause as we sweep around, but just the massive uh, equipment. What do you see inside? You know, they rebuild turbos here, do fuel injectors, all makes and models, pretty wild, but you can see the heavy duty equipment. Uh, and here they're doing transmissions. Look at the sheer size of this. And you know, and uh, you don't know me, we're new pals, but my old t-shirts used to just say it's all nuts and bolts. And I always tried to tell motorcycle technicians, like you don't know where you might get a job. Learn how to turn wrenches and be successful. When I look at that, I mean, it's so dang similar to just any, you know, uh, transmission, nuts and bolts. It's just that the thing is massive. <laughs> right. Look at right. the size of that. That is a gearbox from Mercedes-Benz Actros. Okay. Mercedes-Benz Actros. Gearbox. Yeah. So we'll, we'll run inside, but this cracks me up too. Look at the sandblasting area. You all know, you don't know this, Aldis, but I do a lot of restoration stuff and I've got this machine called a vapor blaster. Man, I gotta get you hooked up. You gotta. Have no. you ever heard of a vapor blaster? That's the that's the rough one. Yeah. And that's for aluminium to make to make shiny. Yeah. Very very fine sun. Have you ever heard of a vapor blaster? Mm, it's, we don't have. It's here. this with water. It's mind blowing. I'll show you a bunch ah. of stuff that I do with that. So. Okay. Maybe you're talking about this. I might be. But I I, I never use. Oh, this man. one works with water. Oh yeah, you'll love it. The finish yeah. on aluminum's pr uh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is this where you got your this where you got your arms from, dude? Yeah. Back here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's, right. that's my bench. Dude, that's I don't think bench. I can lift these. I gotta see. Oh, that looked way heavier than yeah. I thought. Here. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that that's is, funny. That is proper Africa gym. You see. <laughs> This bench have seen life. I have a feeling you can lift a little bit more than that though. Yeah. Now this is for biceps more. Somebody's doing chest on it. Oh man, oh cool, mountain bike. 
All right, let's go look at the rest of the toys. This. This tree, my father place. planted five years ago. Oh, you're here. Jack Fruit, yes. Your dad's here my too, huh? came to visit me oh. to Africa, and then he planted that tree, baby tree. Now it is like this. Way cool. All right, you want to start with fuel injector, and we'll end on turbos. Okay. Let's go. What's up? Check this out. First thing I see when I come in here, how you doing? Yeah, right. First thing I see is a cutaway of a turbo. I make cutaways. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love it, man. I got engine cutaways, yeah. but that is... We cut it, this one. You did it? Yes, because yeah. we want to show to the people what is inside, actually. Why it is so important when you spark the turbo, turbo engine, why it is so important to give some seconds. Of course, every turbo producer says, oh, give at least one minute before the oil, oil tank will get oil for the shaft because in if these bushings okay in turbos they, we don't call bushings we right. call uh, bearings but actually this is bushings right if there is not enough oil turbo will go bad yeah that is why we cut it to show customers why the turbo i gotta show your bad. cool little entry area here coolest table look at that what's up brother Are we gonna go yeah. riding yeah that's what I heard. Nice. How you doing, my friend? All right. Check so, this out. God, this inventory just blows my mind. These guys, they are oh, doing... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Duff unit pumps. Do you have one spoil one? No? Okay. When the unit pump is gone, it looks like a shit. But this one, normally, some people come buy from us and sell in like a brand new. Okay, so, but this is our Rema. This is our standard. standard. This looks actually like a brand new. But nice. this is our And Rema. you're getting ready to test one right now? You uh, test in when you rebuild or one yeah, yeah, of to course. diagnose it? Each, each when it is rebuilt, after that we test. And we adjust, we make sure it is in the standard, exactly like a brand new. Yeah. Well, if we're gonna fire it up, we might as well. How close are you to firing it up? How soon? All right now. All right, I'll edit it out, the delay. You will test it right now, all right. Okay, I wanna see this. Then basically there is cam inside sure. who is hitting, sure. and then it is this one is creating the pressure, and then from the injector you can see the quantity what he is giving. So that's just some mechanically operated pump, and then what do we control in here electronically? Yes. When we open this one, only open that moment when the piston is on the top. Okay. We need to give fuel. Then it is open. Until that is just creating the pressure. And when it is moment when the piston is on the top, then solenoid is giving signal to open, and we spray fuel. So there's a crank position sensor or something to tell that when you yeah. go. Yeah. Mm. So oh, now I see your now next we're on yeah. Way cool. I can't imagine this machine is cheap. Uh, this one around, I don't remember, but something around $20,000. Uh -huh. All right. Ready. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. So this also, this is for common rail, and there is another two machines for common rail. This one I even don't want to show, because this one we are using only for the testing. And, but this one is really good sniper. It is, it is made in our neighbor country, um, in Estonia. So then I'm really happy about this. This is from, uh, also from Europe. Uh -huh. And you need all these different ones to do all the different sizes, I think you said. Oh, you got the important coffee maker. Of course. Yeah. We love yeah. coffee. Oh, <laughs> man. I'm right there with you, brother. Uh, but this, this section is common rail only. Then here, this is Euro 5, Euro 6. All the uniforms, everything. All the latest. This is what we are doing. And, uh, yeah, this quite good machine. You know, Aldous, the, the one thing I'm surprised about is that obvious? <laughs> the one thing I'm surprised about, your shop is freaking clean. 
I mean, everything I've seen, people are working in the dirt, you know, on the ground. We talked about that, but as far as walking in a shop, this would this would kick a bunch of shops in America's butts. You we know? build here small Latvia. I, I I bring my understanding about how things must be done. I bring it here, and every my team member also understand that this is how it must be. So that is why you, you don't see that on yeah. the floor. I mean, I don't know if everybody's caught that in the video. Some of my diehards, I'm sure, have. But look at this. He didn't know I was coming today either, by the way. Um, we met, whatever, a week or two ago. And I just said, hey, taking a day off. I want to come see you. So this is the way it is all the time. These two third benches for the uh, manual forms, for the line forms. Like you see over there, the line forms. Oh, okay. Gradually, they are going out from the system, but still they are there. So then, if people are facing problem, then we are we are ready. So then, this is washing base. Whatever comes, first is going here for the washing, brushing. Make sure it is neat before you go into the to the right section. Then these two sections is for the Caterpillar C9 C7 series. Okay, this this baby is only one on the continent so far. What I know uh, is because of the of the investment uh, involved on, on the hydraulic injector uh, test bench. So then this is our this is our Ferrari. <laughs> uh, our our uh, owners investors they they pay one hundred and eighty thousand euros for this. So that is why I call this one Ferrari or Lamborghini because this is exactly what you can buy for this money, you know? Right. Yeah. Like one year old Lamborghini, you can get 180 euros. You know, it's funny too, because just seeing some of the stuff like, hey, I'm surprised to see a pair of precision tweezers. You know, upstairs you got a microscope. I mean, yeah. it's the real deal. Yeah. The real so deal. Then this one is only for the pumps, only for Cummins pumps. This one don't do anything apart from comments pumps. And, and you said this was a uh, how many psi? Um, 360. But um, this one is not a big deal. This is this is interesting story. For example, this test bench can do only Bosch injectors. Okay. But that what I show you before. It can do Bosch, Denso, uh, whatever, Delphi, whatever uh, common rail injectors. This one can do, can calibrate. This one not, only Bosch, right? Then when you deal with Bosch, you pay this money sure. and get this value. And what kind of PSI were you saying that was? I think that might've been the 2000, one. 2000, 2000, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you gotta know what you're doing. If you're dealing with 2000 PSI and you don't have something tight, I mean, you could get hurt. I mean, you- With open, the test bench even don't come in. If it is not closed, oh nice. Then test bench you even you cannot own it. Nice. Hey man, are we close to what's gonna be my favorite part? We heading up to the turbo area. So let's go up, huh? Okay, you guys, he was talking about this earlier on the cutaway, but they rebuild turbos here. So I got my boy Clay back in Iowa. You are gonna love this. This isn't like slapping stuff together. This is actually knowing what you're doing, full rebuilds. Wait till you see this. Little hangout area, little view in the industrial area. Uh, look so, at the pile. This also, huh. we cut it then the customers can see what is inside what is because sometimes somebody awesome. thinks sure. is because of some seal is spoiled but there sure. is nothing with the seal so the guy that just showed up i happen to be fortunate enough to watch him diagnose a vehicle by ear <laughs> he pulled up and you're like rah, 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 you know it's this but yeah. uh what point out what was bad the one you're doing outside right now what what do you think was wrong with that one um, that i got to hear you diagnose so what happened it start when it starts shakes oh, yeah, like yeah, this, yeah, yeah. then the blade yeah. is start touching the body, okay. and is making the noise like a whistling. Sure, I then, heard that too. Yeah, and it was really only at a certain load. 
yeah, yeah, and yeah. he had a hard time finding it. Like he had yeah. to work pretty hard to find yeah. it. Yeah, it is. It is come in around two two thousand five hundred RPM and disappear around three thousand five hundred RPM. If you don't fix it, it could grenade apart. I assume. No, if if you don't fix it, he can remain on the roadside because uh, turbo for Navara turbo can go off immediately. You are going like 120 kilometers an hour, and then it's like 60 mile an hour, I think. Then just you you hear the They're noise and oil is, is start coming out from the exhaust. That's all. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So you have a massive amount of inventory here. If I turn around, I see this. I'm like, dang! Look at the size of this. This is this is a, a, approximately my age, boy. How old are you? Forty-seven. We're same age, seventy-four. Yeah. It's March. Think around around forty plus. Six yeah. Plus and you said this was Russian? Yeah, this is from Russia. Yeah. Made yeah. made in Russia. Yeah, man. Look at the massive ways on that. I got a little tiny little three-in-one Smithy, so. Yeah. Look at this. Is yeah. Mm. So, this the other stuff you're showing me too. I mean, so just that you uh, balance these are them. The balancing machines. But first of all, what we do, we balance the shaft. We start with the shaft. Clay, you're gonna love so, this. So, what does it mean? Um, when you just make the shaft is not balanced, then you assemble and put it inside the yeah, machine. Yeah, saw a little set of V-blocks for yes, it to sit on yes, here on yes, the bearing. Yes. I, I, I don't want to touch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Um, just like doing a crank, just like doing a motorcycle crank. Your right. two web halves, it's telling you where to right. add weight. And right. You said that's all computerized. And then you remove the weight with, with this dentist machine. Right. Yeah? It's funny how people like struggle sometimes because they go, oh, it's gotta be more complicated. It's math, yeah. it's weight. You gotta remove the weight and you gotta balance it all out. Cause like you said, you can't add weight yeah. to that. Yeah, but if you don't, if you don't balance, the turbo will, will blast in a <clears throat> seconds. When you accelerate first time, if the turbo is not balanced, you will just, if you're lucky, then it will just crack here. If not, it can it can damage the engine even. Yeah. So that this is important to to balance it. After that, we assemble all the cartridge. So cartridge looks like this. Okay, this is old cartridge, but but this is uh, how it looks when cartridge is assembled, sure. right? Only must be clean, of course. Sure. After that, okay, this is for the light duty. We fix it inside and then we give air and when the turbo turns then also it shows where need to be again mm. uh, uh, remove some weight until cartridge is balanced perfectly then we let again for some few minutes uh, to see if oil is not leaking from somewhere mm. after that cartridge is ready is ready to be fixed into the body and fixed back into the car. We just done it today, this small baby, so then that car outside will be on the road by, by close of tomorrow. So that truck that pulled up today, I, what surprised me is you didn't stick it in a garage or something, you just started taking it apart right where it was. The, that Nissan, yes. you just started taking it apart right there. So you must be able to turn it around quick. Uh, yes. Look, customers here, they don't have time to leave this car because normally they don't have another two, three cars. That is his only car. Then I need to make sure I give car back as soon as possible. Mm. Really, sometimes I'm asking him, when do you need car? Yesterday? Right. He said yes. So, okay, gotcha. Always. Then we are doing right now. Yeah. And normally, if you come in the morning, afternoon, you have correct turbo on. You're pulling a turbo, rebuilding it, handing it back in a day. Right, wow. right, right. I don't know why that shocks me, but this is something I don't see a lot of is these vices this wide. I mean, everything in America seems to be like a six inch or something. But No, this is because of uh, turbos. Sometimes you need to hold this, yeah. this or, or for example. Look at this whole wall if, of them. If you need to hold this baby, what are you going to do? With small wires, right, you can't yeah. do anything. Yeah. Man, but to monster. open some bolts, you need to you need to fix it well, and then you can open. 
from. Where'd you show, you picked up this little tiny one you showed me, you called it a bicycle one. Was that in oh, there? Oh, that's inside. Let's make sure we don't shut that door, huh? Oh, there, here's the microscope I was talking about they're using for inspection. Thought that was cool. So this one is, <laughs> I call Look at that. bicycle turbo. See? Mm, that's funny. Yeah. But still, small car also need turbo. This is our best seller, Nizan Navara. This one we don't rebuild because in generally Nissan Navara turbo is mistake. Because the turbo is built like for sports engine. Okay. It's not built for long life, for okay. long lasting. It is with the geometry inside, it is really powerful turbo, but unfortunately it cannot work long. Like, so the one you're putting in is if does it make it any better or is it they just going back to that same life expectancy yeah 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 normally normally brand new navara when you buy if you're very lucky you can drive this car one year before you change your turbo first time so and a bunch of replacement parts you're showing there oh fishing poles too yeah you got all man you got motorcycles mountain biking fishing poles yes. turbos <laughs> Yes, and, and Jack Daniel on the motorcycle. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go, Sam. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. this is kit. Normally, we don't need this kit because uh, people bring turbo only when it is completely fucked. <laughs> they don't bring when the turbo is stuck leaking the oil. And right, then we yeah. can use this right. to rebuild for some sure. 200 bucks. But they bring when it is really dead. Then, in this case, we need to always completely change the cartridge. I'm gonna make sure that I get all your contact info because we have such a crazy wide audience too. So if you are in uh, Ghana, especially, this is gonna be your hookup for your fuel injectors or your uh, turbos, but um, I assume people probably even ship you stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so. Uh, we'll... Neighbor countries around, we, we are sending to them. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Hey, what do you think about you and I go grab motorcycles and maybe some food? Let's go. All right, man. Hey, everybody, thanks for tuning in to HowToWrench.com. Uh, uh, this was a super fun opportunity. One thing I love about traveling and the ridiculously cool people you meet. But uh, I need some two-wheel time, so I'm going to check out of here. I'll try and get this video posted as soon as possible. As always, like, share, subscribe. Do you have any socials or anything? Uh, yes. Website, A1 Diesel. A1 Diesel Africa, yeah. A1 Diesel. You can find us in Facebook. A1 I'll, Diesel. I'll get the links from you. I'll have the links below in the video. Look them up too. And uh, this was fun, my friend.